this, none of this radio pop shit I drop this, turning back the clock to rock shit I cop it, said knock knock, come on this I'm hot bitch, like a hot bitch, it's not I walk in, I got this, radio drop this Hot shit, just watch this, I fucking promise Do it, do not miss, your chance to cop this Will you capture it, or just let it slip All this shit, I wanna be jammed, cause my rap is tight But really, they just give a fuck that I ain't black and white I'm not anyone else, man, I'm one of a kind So stand back one more time, I said I got this, none of this radio pop shit, I drop this, turning back the clock to rock shit, I cop it, said knock knock, come on this, I'm hot bitch, like a hot bitch, it's not Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is Annihilation, and we are starting it off with a big one, that's right now, I just gotta make sure these things are right, real <laughs> Cause uh, we did do actual like runnings, or we did do like actual um, like picks and stuff like that like who's coming in first second and all that stuff and for some reason the dog came out first which was weird uh unless the chamber automatically gives champions advantage which if that's the case that's fucked <laughs> it should be all set now um hopefully it works right this time if it doesn't then uh well fuck me <laughs> if the dog comes out again i guess we'll just have to we'll just have to run with it and uh, those battle royales meant nothing. We had to restart Annihilation, ladies and gentlemen. The dog fucked up. <laughs> I believe he's still coming out first. Yep. All right, we're going to have to live with it then. So I guess chamber wise, uh, champions advantage, they get number six. Which that that's a little lame, dude. That's fucking lame. Ah, uh, we should have tested that. <laughs> we should have tested that. Oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, the dog, the TikTok champion, coming out here, claiming, dang fuck, it's fuck the world, claiming the big fucking title spot, or the big uh, champion's advantage spot here. Me and Craig are going to be watching. All right, cool. Craig, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Right now, the TikTok champion coming in was supposed to be one of the first few starting off the match, but because of, I guess, champion's advantage, I don't know, he is not getting in a pod. Or, oh, or is it just champion's animation? Is it just the animation? No, yeah, he's getting in a pod. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that was not supposed to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's fucking fun. Shame. Quit your shit. Stop trying to pick fights. Stop fun. But now the new up-and-comer. CGM. And also, just to point out, uh, gonna be doing that a lot with Shane. Mainly because, uh... We're, we want Shane to dial down the whole, like, uh, him being a bit unhinged, because <laughs> he's been a little bit crazy as of late. So, the, we we're trying to help him thin down on that. So, me, I'm trying an aggressive approach right now. An aggressive approach, Shane. No, I'm Right now, CGM coming in the chamber. So I get, I don't, I guess I'll just wait because I don't know how that's gonna work exactly. Because the dog was not supposed to be in the chamber, and that's what's like hella upsetting me right now because it's fucking up the entire order I just set up. So. The Battle Royale's meant nothing, and Super is fucking irate! As compensation for apparently the game's fuck up, the winners that won those uh, number six spots will gain... Uh, if they don't win this match, they will actually be the next ones in line for those titles. 
Why are we doing that? Because it's compensation for the Battle Royale, and it's compensation for the fuck up of this arena, or of this actual match not working properly. I was joking that time, I apologize. It's not a joke. It is never a joke. Unless everyone's laughing at it, and then it, 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 it's a joke. If no one's laughing at it, it is not a joke. Beer Grip is scary, JK, Jodo. <laughs> Beer Grip, uh, former PXT champion. Uh, the inaugural PXT champion for this run of PXT that we're doing. I have to say this run now because of Adonis claiming that uh, he was an actual former PXT champion. Uh, though Rocky does say it wasn't documented. I have to agree. I have to sadly disagree only because, and God, I still haven't finished his goddamn mentions. Well, one thing I've been forgetting for all humanity at time is this fucking entrance. Whatever. I can tell you this, though. Super is pissed off right now. Why? Because he's not getting the sixth spot. And I do not blame him. I would be hella irate, too. But with that said, Super, if he does not win here tonight, he will. He is guaranteed a shot uh, for the next episode of PXT. Mainly because that also means it's going to do that with the Hardcore title as well. So, all those match pickings is pretty fucking pointless. So, that's where we got to make it have a point, and that's the best thing we can come up with right now. Oh. Now, if he does come out last, then that shit's not fucking uh, valid. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. But the dog was supposed to start off the night. Well, it looks like Anthony's gonna be in here. Uh, good, oh man, I just realized that screws over smooth, doesn't it? So I'll reveal what everyone's actual spot was supposed to be in this match. Um, originally, it was supposed to be uh, Anthony and the dog coming out. Uh, CGM was supposed to be three. I don't know if that's still gonna happen. Uh, Smooth was supposed to be number four. So in other words, the four people that were supposed to be in this pod were Smooth, Bugrip, CGM, and Super. The match was supposed to start off with Anthony and the dog. For some reason, the game is wanting to refuse that because it's giving the champions an advantage. So in this case, I'm believing it's going to make the dog number six. Now the dog comes out number three. Fantastic. But as far as I know, I don't think that's what's gonna. I don't think that's what's gonna happen here. The smooth is getting a little screwed over here now, and it's by the game. So we're gonna see how this goes. Cause like I said, the order's all fucked up. It's not saving. I don't know why. So I'll see what happens on that one. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Morales coming in. No, Anthony, between everybody in this actual type of match right now, he's the only one to have success in multi-man matches back-to-back. -back. He was undefeated, he did lose just recently, but it's pinfall-wise, and Anthony has had good chances in it. This is his, I believe, third, second title not here in PXT for it. I believe this is the second... No, yeah, it's third title shot here in PXC. He's failed every single one. Can he do it here tonight? And right now, Anthony coming straight off the bat and already dropping smooth. And gotta find out how to fix the fucking cage because for some reason, the cage does this. It makes it a little bit more real. Now it's going for it. What the... The sand! The sand's making them slip! It's the sand in the middle of the ring! It's making both men slip! What the fuck's going on? The whole match is buggy! Oh, oh my god, oh shit, I wasn't... I was fucking joking that the match was buggy! 
Anthony already doing some weird stuff. So is Smooth. Smooth's already going at it. And oh, it's going for a big splash. Missed. Anthony dodging it. And we're already getting another man in this Annihilation match. In. Who is the third man in? It's not Okay, so it might... Okay, so it looks like it might be right. It just changed the... Who was last. So... Ooh, BGM already starting off. Oh, I think he's trying to go for some. Anthony stopping him. And Anthony, already starting off pretty strong. Already going for a pin. Looking to test out the waters. Probably looking to take out CGM. Not giving him a future title shot here. As well as there might have been echoes there. We had just fixed that problem. Right now, CGM getting smooth for an inverted DDT. And oh, Morales catching it with a drop kick. Dropping CGM. Now, no, I think for the next uh, Annihilation, I'm going to look at the presentation and see if we can fix the actual settings of that. Uh, we did forget about this with what's it called. It might be something on presentation, so heads up on that. Point of the thing is, though, the match is still very visible. It's just not as good visible. <laughs> and now Bugrip coming in. So, yeah, I believe the order is right then. Uh, well, no, actually. Well, yeah, it's, it's it is, but then it's not. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Yo, CGM. I think you can change it now, but B, you'll be able to move the camera. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure because uh, I haven't. Because honestly, I know I changed some stuff with presentation wise. Um, I didn't think it did it with the cages, so I need to check that. Oh shit, big power bomb of Smooth to CGM, goes for the pin, is that it? No, CGM kicks out. The next man in is... Oh, okay, so, so okay, there you go. That thing's not valid then. The dog, why did the dog get in a pod then? What the fuck? That's so weird. The dog was using creative control. No, another man. It was Arthur. He was like, brother, this champion should be in a pod. <laughs> it's really Arthur behind the mask. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh shit, oh Smooth, looking to make the TikTok champion tap out here. Not a bad play from Smooth, targeting the champion first. You target the champion first, it's a guaranteed new champion. Oh, Panthers bite right there to the former PXC champion. One, two. Now Bugle kicks out and is still going. And now, Super looking to enter the chamber last. Welcome to the Annihilation. We're going to see who will be the new TikTok champion. Everybody in. Why not Bugrip fucking destroying Super Super though? Not gonna allow him to take more advantage. The dog, oh, dropping CGM over the ropes while Smooth tosses Anthony to the outside. And Smooth turns his attention back to the dog. Smooth is a prize fighter and he knows what he needs to do to get the prize. Let's take out who's holding it. And right now, oh, I believe we're about to see a camp slam right there from CGM to Bugrip. Is that it? One, two, Three, and Bugrip's the first man eliminated in the Annihilation match. Honestly, expected a lot. Was that? Oh, Rolling Stunner! I don't know if he has a name for that, but we're going to get Rolling Stunner. One, two, no! Super kicks out. Oh, the dog looking to... Okay, only getting a one count off Morales. I want to point out, again... Morales technically still has a higher advantage on picking up a win here only because he's won these type of matches numerous times. This is just, the only difference is, this is inside a cage. That is the only difference, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Smooth tossing CGM to the outside. Oh, Smooth again, trying to target the dog, not getting anything out of it. And Franchise winning the hardcore title. Honestly, I can see it. Oh, Morales looking to take out. Super here, Super kicks out. Oh wait! And another camp slam right there, but this time to Smooth Marino. 
One, two, no, smooth kicks out. I won't lie to y'all, Bugrip's uh, actual elimination was pretty shocking, only because I expected a lot more out of Bugrip. Uh, Bugrip, I thought was going to be one of the final three, but God, being the first one eliminated, holy shit. And there you go, I lost mine. <laughs> My pick already died. <laughs> oh shit, Panthers buy from Morales. Going in for a pin on Super. Super though, kicks out. And now, oh, big forearm shot from the dog to Smooth. One, two, three. Smooth Marino is eliminated. I want to point out the only ones that is up for grabs right now is none other than the dog and super for the MP championship. Nobody picked Morales and nobody picked CGM. So it is between super and the dog for the MP championship for the Discord server. Oh, big maneuver right there from CGM. Oh, quick shots, quick shots from CGM. Oh, but Morales stopping it. Gets him with a quick sling blade into a drop kick straight to the face. Oh. Here it is, dog days! Is that it? One, two, no! Super refusing to be eliminated in this match so soon. Oh, god damn. Super just trucking the dog. Is that another drop in? No, the dog, oh, what the fuck? Again, are you serious? You are plugged the fuck in. It, it was doing a whole fucking thing of never fucking dying, and now it's saying, hey, bitch, I'm dead. Fuck you, controller. Oh, big snap DDT from Anthony Morales. And now Super coming in for the big splash to the TikTok champion. Uh oh. Not that I didn't. I don't know where Morales was doing that. Morales was for some reason going for a victory lap. And now the dog just brutalizing Super. God damn. Getting hella brutal right now. And the dog put down Super. Super won the Battle Royale to pick up the sixth spot because he would be a little bit more fresh than everyone else. But with that said, the dog showing that he is the fighting champion. He has a shot. Oh, shit. Big maneuver right there from Morales to CGM, busting him open. And the dog tossing Super back in. And, uh, oh, oh, Super reversing. What's Super going for here? Super getting the dog up. Johnny, oh, just drops to the outside. CGM, I think, was trying to go for a camp slam there. Doesn't get it. Morales gaining the upper ham on, upper hand, I said ham. Upper hand on CGM against for a tornado DDT, dropping him down the mat. Morales going for another pin. I think the dog, though, disrupting it. And now, big maneuver, but Super catching him off guard. Catches the dog off guard, and now, but now the dog being the reversal genius that he is. Oh, Morales missing it. CGM looking to gain the upper hand against Morales. CGM realizes that Morales has accolades, has history here in PXT to where he is a person to be focused on. Over there. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Cam slam the super! Holy shit! Holy shit! One, two, three, and super's out! I want to point out, oh wait! Oh, let's try to go with Dog Day. CGM saying no. J a jumping fist. Dropping the dog. Is that enough to put him out of commission? One, two. No, the dog's still in it. Well, I want to point out, everybody's pick is gone besides the dog. Death and Shane chose the dog. Can the dog retain the TikTok championship? Morales, oh, coming in with a big arm drag. Uh oh, the dog. Oh, allowing, oh, beautiful. Panthers pounce with the top. One, two, 
No! Morales not stopping, but now the do what the fuck? Are the mask guys just working together? This is bullshit. Funny how he said he was going to call CGM Cam two weeks ago. Hey, look, man, I learned. And now, oh, Morales looking to put down the TikTok champion, but only gets a one count. That's why I think Morales and CGM need to understand the dog is still fresh. He. He's still fucking good. Oh, but it looks like Cam or CGM. Sorry, thanks, Shane. You fucked it up for me. <laughs> CGM. I guess trying to get a little bit of fucking payback against. See, oh, what the fuck? Oh my God, did Morales just screw Cam? Oh, a jumping super kick straight to the skull of Morales. One, two. No, Morales kicks out. Morales just screwed over CGM. That was probably going to be the end of fucking the dog, dude. That was going to be the end of it. What the fuck, Morales? I don't know what either man's doing. A big sling blade into a drop kick, dropping CGM. And now the dog turning his attention to Morales with a big spy buster. Here it is. One, two, no. Oh, oh my god, only gets a one off Morales. Oh shit. Big code breaker right there. Is that it to put Cam out? CGM is out. It is now Morales and the dog. Can Anthony put down the dog once and for all for the tornado DDT dropping him? Is that it? Is that it? One, two, no, the dog's still fighting. The dog's still going. As though as these things mid-match, I'm sorry, god damn it. Oh, the dog, honestly, the dog. Winning with dog days possibly will be the Chaya Trifecta! No! Morales kicks out! We see Morales' fucking will for a fight against Electro. Can he dig deep here, but this time become a PXC champion? Spanish fly suplex! Can Morales do it? Can he do it? Can he put down the dog? Uh oh. Morales second guessing himself. Not, not feeling comfortable with that four. And now, oh, big splash! Panthers pounce! One, two, no! The dog refuses to stay down. We got a cat and a dog fighting each other. Oh, this is the springboard maneuver. The dog possibly looking to gain the upper hand with a big suplex! My god, I am genuinely impressed that Morales and the dog are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That fucking steel bar is fucking up this viewing right now. Dude, what the fuck? And now here it is, the dog. Bobby looking, oh, big, god damn, a big-ass clothesline dropping Morales. And now he's go straight to the top. And, oh, big elbow straight to the skull of Anthony Morales. Is that it to drop him? One, two, no! Morales refuses. Morales refuses to give up. Morales refuses to give up. And, oh, big jump up catching Hedekalana. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful back and forth. Can Morales put down the dog? Can he do it? Can he pin him? Can he pin the dog? No, the dog coming back at it. And now, oh, another cold breaker. That's it. One, two, no. What the fuck? Morales, dude. Morales, defiant as ever. But this might be it. This might be it. Oh, well, hello. I think that was dog bin there. One, two. Three, and with that, the dog retains the TikTok championship. And that goes to point to death and Shane. Holy shit. But now I will say this. Because of the misfortunes that happen, because of this, we are punishing both champions on this. Because technically, the dog should have been one of the first two in this match. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, the next episode of PXT... The dog will be defend the championship 
in a triple threat match against the man he stole spot. So in other words, it is confirmed it will be the dog with Smooth Marino and a random opponent. So it will be a triple threat match for the TikTok Championship. And if that happens for the hardcore, that rule applies to the hardcore title as well. Because, uh, yeah, that, that was sort of fucked. <laughs> Technically, the dog just uses champion's advantage on that one. So that's why I was like, let's go. Because he was supposed to be uh, number one. And I think that did change a little bit of the outcome. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, though the first match was a little bit fuck, fucked up because of that shit, I can already assume that's going to happen. Not with the Annihilation. The Annihilation is random. Or for the women's Annihilation, it's random. Uh, the Hardcore, that's probably what I'm expecting. So, see what happens. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on to our next match, which this is our first match with both members of the females bond team that won uh sky violet and emily uh the winner between these two will go against alexia Jimenez. why is it not a championship of their choosing it is because when we made this rule the intercontinental championship was not a title so in other words this is a number one contendership match whoever wins goes against alexia Jimenez next month at bio war for the pxt women's championship now i'm gonna be honest with y'all i have no faith i don't think anybody i don't think there was a lot of people that had faith in him but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens also again a special shout out goes to death for making the annihilation arena he has been on par with the as a I have to give a shout out because that me, Jeff is fucking amazing when it comes to the arenas. He knows how to get creative as fuck with it. He's talented as hell with it. So, Death, again, special shout out goes to you for tonight's arena. But with that said, Sky Violet, she so far has become a big, uh, big show competitor, if you will, because she still still has not made a PXT debut. She hasn't had a match at PXT. He has only been showing up in big shows. So with that said, he's starting to call her show Big Show Sky Violet. I think everyone here already is assuming Emily is not going to be enough to put down Sky. And honestly, I agree. If you look back at the Bond match, Emily was going a little bit frantic everywhere. Sky, though, knew who to go against, was going against all the heavy hitters, was showing them she's here to fight. But now the question is, can she pick up the win? Because you know, she could underestimate her opponent, and the next thing you know, Emily steals the entire thing. Everyone, you gotta believe in Emily. She came in as the mighty Emily, a whole super hero gimmick. Dropped it almost quick as hell, thinking that this was gonna be the thing to drop the entire, or just kick rock her career. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But point is, he thought it was enough to do it. This would be the change she needed. This is her fucking moment to do it. Right, if anyone asks, yes, it is sand in the ring. Why? Because it's coarse, rugged, and it gets everywhere. Say her name and she appears. I believe in Emily. I can't. I'm sorry. I just, I honestly can't. Look, man, she had a debut. She sort of fucked up the debut. She got annihilated. Um, she's probably going to get annihilated here as well. <laughs> the name annihilation there you are second match sky violet going against emily let's see how it goes and right now sky already starting immensely strong with a beautiful goddamn round the world fucking mover there already throwing off emily now oh shit big super kick into a oh beautiful suplex and oh as I was talking about with Sky, Sky is hella aggressive when it comes to the strikes. Oh, goddamn. Dropping her back of the knee, and again, Sky already. Sky has been in numerous fights where. Oh. Barely missing. 
I want to point out. Barely missing that. And there it is. Now Emily's looking to bring it back. Hey, what's that thing in the center of the ring? I'm not going to ask. Okay. Right now. Oh, big pile driver from Sky. Ooh. Big punch. And already Sky's going for a pin. Thinking that, <laughs> thinking that that's enough to drop Emily. That's the that's the disrespect Sky is showing to Emily right now. Is that she's thinking a punch is enough to go for a pinfall on her. That's how much she well, I guess you could say doesn't believe in her opponent to even have a shot against her. Which I mean I don't blame her. I really don't. I mean Emily had a debut. She failed to impress. Uh that's why there's not really a lot going for her in this one. Ooh. This is the maneuver right there. Now, oh, comes in with a shoulder tackle, already dropping Sky and already dropping Emily. My bad. And now, oh, big missile drop kick straight to the skull of Emily. Now sends her back in and already calls her shot. I think she was telling Emily that she has no point in being here. Now the question is, Emily going to take those as fighting words? Emily has struggled to even, like, land any type of offense at all on goddamn Sky. She's coming with small hits, but she needs something big. She needs something, like, game-changing. You can't do anything with small stuff. You need something game-changing. Uh-oh. And already, ooh, over the back, and oh, already dropping Emily. I'm telling you, this match is a full-on annihilation at this point, because holy shit. Emily has failed to kick off anything. I'm not even joking with you. Like, the controller's not even moving at all. I, <laughs> I'm not in control at all, but for some reason, Emily's just not fighting. I, I, I think she, she's failing to believe in herself. Oh, and already going in for an arm bar, looking to possibly make Emily tap out here. Is Emily going to tap out? No, Emily, again, getting out of danger, but she needs to capitalize. There it is. Now comes with a death press, looks to finally get some offense in against Sky. She needs to keep it up right now. Beautiful belly to belly. Is that enough to drop her out of the match? One, two, no, Sky kicks out. You know, Emily's going to do a lot more. She wants a shot. And dropping! And dropping and already going into the cross face. Looking to possibly make Sky tap. Oh, wait. Goes for a pin. Goes for a pin. One. Two. No. Emily kicks out. Could you imagine her getting pinned like that? Oh, there it is. Now Emily's starting to believe. Now Emily's starting to fight. Oh, shit. Dropping her hard on the back of the neck. Oh, misses. Oh, big gut shot right there. Sky looking to... Oh, comes in. Beautiful maneuver. Holy shit. God damn. Fucking Moonsaw into an inverted DDT. Bobby Emily. Emily now on the outside. Violet. I think it's telling a fan not to believe. Oh, huge misstep. But Emily still. Emily was two days to capitalize on that misstep. Ref's telling Sky to get in the ring. Sky's in the ring, and no, I don't think Sky wants to win like that. Emily, goddamn dude, Emily is not pulling anything in this like she she is not doing anything in this match it is a full-on dominated match from sky sky sending emily back into the ring oh emily missing the big clothesline now gets caught into sleeper hold oh but wait i think i think her foot hit the rope i actually don't know there apparently the ref called for a rope break 
There's Emily now tossing Sky to the ropes. Oh, and jumping back elbow shot straight to the face of Sky. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful maneuver right there from Emily. One, two. No, oh my God, could you imagine that was gonna be the thing to fucking win the match? Oh my God, did that knock the win out of Sky? Holy shit. There it is, now Emily is starting to believe in her own thing. She's starting to believe in Emily. And that's what she needs to do, she doesn't need everyone else. She needs to believe in herself, damn it. Oh! Drops her over the top rope, but Sky, I think Sky finally coming back at it and misses the big moon soul. Emily needs to capitalize on this. She needs to capitalize. Oh, she's trying to send it to the ropes. Doesn't get it. And now, oh, beautiful catches it. Emily's learning. She's learning against Sky. She's learning it. She is learning it. And now goes in for a dragon sleeper. Are we gonna see Sky tap out here? No fucking way. Are we gonna see Sky tap out? No, Sky refuses. She gets out of the hold somehow. She gets out of it. Emily now starting to believe. Send Sky to the ropes. Oh wait. Oh shit! Beautiful maneuver! Oh! Emily starting to believe! Emily starting to believe! <laughs> oh, beautiful Moonsaw into a pin! One! Two! No! Violet geeks out! Oh my god! That's all Emily needed to do. She just needed to believe. She just needed to believe. She's going to the top. She's going to the top. Oh, big moon soul connects. Oh, but oh, wait, no, Sky not leaving. Sky still challenging Emily, still talking shit. Oh, another catching into an inverted DDT. And Sky claims back control just like that. The flip just got switched. And now, looks to make Emily tap out here. Is that it for Emily? Is she out of this? No, Emily somehow gets out of the maneuver. Sky going to the top. Can't Sky put away? Emily, big frog splash. That might be it. One, two, no! Emily refuses to give up! I think it's time to show her. Oh, Skyfall! Is that it? One, two, three. And with that, Sky picks up the win. Dude, holy shit though. <laughs> so I want to point out, Death right now is in the lead. Said Sky was going to win, Rocky's on the board, and I am on the board. So Death is in the lead for the MP Championship right now. Holy shit, dude. Emily at the end, dude. Emily at the end. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking nuts. That was genuinely fucking nuts. I was starting to believe in her for a second. I was like, Emily got this. Emily's starting to believe. Like, holy shit. That shit was fucking cool. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now on to our next match. This next match is something that's been brewing for the past couple weeks, mainly because uh, recently Arthur came out and uh, not only got an opportunity for going for the U.S. Championship, he went and proceeded to knock out Smooth Marino. Smooth already got his vengeance, but there was another thing planned to where Arthur used his creative control to tell the ref to pin one, two, three on him and not debut the new talent, because Arthur believes he is the future of wrestling and the future of PXT. And because of that, after he lost the match, the person that was supposed to debut, the person that was supposed to debut, came out and actually suplexed Arthur. Deadweight, by the way. Um, then the person that it was was none other than Jamari Marino, Smooth Marino's son. To where, honestly, everyone thought Jamari was gonna fucking dominate Arthur. Arthur somehow, some way, picked up a win against Jamari, though he was very brutal in all his move sets and everything. Arthur was able to pick up the win, but apparently it was another this call. It was supposed to be a kickout. That's right. That's right. He told the ref. The one, two, three. 
He told him the to fast count. If not, he was gonna hurt him. In other words, Jim Arthur is using his creative control. How could he? What do you mean it's supposed to be a kick out? Don't ask questions, kids. No, don't do it. <laughs> In other words, the ref wasn't supposed to count as fast as he did. Arthur told him to count fast because he has creative control. So, told him to count fast. Jamari got pissed and proceeded to assault the referee. And now, originally, Arthur was not going to show up tonight. But, uh, we went ahead and actually sort of fooled him, if you will, on signing a contract tonight. So, in other words, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Jamari Marino going one-on-one -on -one against Arthur inside a steel cage. But there is no escape in this cage. Now, no. Originally, I set it up as the MMA one. So it might be a submission match. <laughs> But, <laughs> uh, I did try to fix it into the other one, because I did make a Wasteland Steel Cage match. Uh, we'll have to wait and see which one it is. Uh, if it's all, like, apocalyptic, like, rustic-looking, the arena, or the cage, then it's right. If it doesn't, then it sort of fucked up. But, uh, point of the matter is, it's supposed to be a regular Steel Cage match, no escape. Is it the fucked up one? Nope, it saved the- What the fuck, dude? I saved this shit! I hate this game. <sighs> well, it looks like it's gonna be the MMA-style match then, because apparently, though I did save it for the Wastelander cage match, it, it just proceeded to save the MMA one. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because of the mishaps that is happening... Wait, what is that? Fucking hell! Are you fucking serious? Arthur uses creative controls because he doesn't believe Jamari has any way to make him tap out here. So he uses creative control to change the match from a regular wasteland match to it's a 1 2 3 into a 20 minute submission match. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking god. I'm, I'm ready to kill this bitch. <laughs> I, I am generally ready to kill Arthur with all these fucking creative controls bullshit. Why did he sign the car? Why did there need to be in this contract? I don't fucking know, man. I didn't think he was gonna have it for all the humanity in time. We all thought he would lose. Or apparently it's specific in there. He has to lose one on one. I'm so mad though, I didn't say the Wastelander cage. The Wastelander cage looked cool. So upset. There he is, brother! It's a ha! Arthur apparently had a lot of control in uh, a lot of these matches, because apparently he was even saying that he has created control to where the dog was not gonna be number one. And uh, told him to get in a pod, but now the dog is getting punished because now he doesn't even need to be decided in the fall or his championship on the next episode of PXT. Now the question is, did Shane listen to Arthur with that? Because if Shane listened to it, I'm sorry to say it, it's going to be the same fucking punishment. But that is if Shane retains. If he does not, then, uh, well, oh well. I do believe if Shane wins, uh, if I'm correct, I think if Shane wins this episode, he has a shot at becoming the longest reigning hardcore champion, I believe, because I'm not going to lie to you, I believe Mox only defended the title in two big shows. I don't believe he, no, that's a lie, he defended it in three. I forgot, he, won it in, he defended it in Carnage. So, Shane's close to, like, beat the record. Close. Really? Great question. What the fuck happened to the Skybox? Well, now it is, uh, there's a submission match, ladies and gents, so... Arthur using his creative control once again to fuck up Annihilation. What the fuck? Thing is, I don't know if Jamari has anything. 
If Arthur screws with my match, I'm going to cry. At this point, yeah, it looks like Arthur's just... There's a reason there's an A on the fucker on the apron. I asked him for Annihilation. There's just an A there. Now I know why. Uh oh. Old man locked inside a cage. This could be really good for Jamar or it could be really bad for him. Same thing with Arthur. It could be really good or really bad. Well, because Arthur wanted a no. Okay. Arthur getting... Okay, I think Arthur's getting a little too personal here. He merely just choking him, and I believe we were hearing him say that he's the fucking future. He's the future of PXT. He's the future world champion. Oh, God! Jamari tossing him over the top rope, but Arthur hitting hard on the steel cage. Arthur, though, not having it. Hitting him knee first, and right now... Ooh! Big good shot there. And oh, there it is! Jamari coming straight off the bat! And Jamari put down, oh, Arthur. But the thing is, as far as I'm understanding goes, I don't know if Jamari has a submission maneuver in his arsenal. So this is going to be very interesting because I don't believe same thing can be said about Arthur. So I'm assuming Arthur doesn't want a loss. He wants a draw, which in PXC, we don't have that yet. We actually do not have a draw here in PXT. So, I don't know what would happen here. But it is a 20 minute time limit. We'll see what happens here. Uh, right now, we've already passed the two minute mark. And no man has tried to make the others submit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that the submission hold? Is that the submission hold? <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my god! That was the most brutalist fucking move of anything we've ever saw! Oh my god! I'm stunned. Dude, he was killing him. Oh, oh, holy, holy shit. Oh, uh, well, okay, with that, I get a point. Smooth gets a point. Rocky gets a point. Oh my god. Jamar. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. I think we need the paramedics, because I think Arthur's going to cardiac arrest there, dude. Uh, I'm not joking with you. Get the paramedics with the man. <laughs> He's an asshole, but... <laughs> God. Holy shit. Dude, he fucking killed him. He fucking legitimately killed him. Holy shit, Arthur, you fucked up by making it that type of match. Oh my god. He had a higher chance if it was a fucking 1-2-3. He would have had a better chance if it was a 1-2-3. He underestimated his opponent. Oh my god, dude. Jamari full on choking out fucking Arthur. Not even like a fucking choke no. Lifting up a man twice the size of himself, by the way. Up in the air and having him fucking choke. My God. Uh, that's going down in the history books is the most brutal way to fucking, uh, like that was the most brutal fucking victory here in PXT. I'm not going to lie. That beats Mason with the whole Mox thing. That was fucking brutal. Holy shit! Well, no, well, whoever's in, whoever's involved with that, uh, good luck, <laughs> dog. You might want to run. <laughs> oh shit! God damn! Holy shit! Holy shit! That was fucking. Nuts. That was generally fucking. Nuts. Uh, Jamari picking up the win there.
which puts Smooth on the board. Rocky now has two. I have two. Death has two. Shane only has one. But now we are going on to the next match, which is crowning a new PXC Women Intercontinental Champion. That is right. That is up next, ladies and gentlemen. This, now, this one shouldn't be all fucked up, but the thing is, I didn't do uh, selections for it. So, I don't know. Imagine Arthur winning the PXC World Heavyweight Champion. Dude, he would be... That'd be a monster, honestly. Well, that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the PXT Women's Intercontinental Championship Annihilation Match. This is elimination. Shut up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we already saw tell we've already saw a lot of fucking chamber matches already. But uh holy crap. I think that's goddamn that was like the quickest victory too. That shit was nuts. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. It is a former P well correction, former women's world champion. She never lost the championship. He vacated it and came here to PXC. It is none other than Sarah Fox coming in. Now, I'm going to be honest with you all. I have no idea who's going to win this, but the, the one thing that's weird and strange, a lot of people chose the former PXT Women's Champion, Ava Moreno. Why? Because she has a shot here to become the Women's Grand Slam Champion, which is her holding the PXC Women's Championship and the, being the first ever, the inaugural PXC Intercontinental Women's Champion. It'd be a first, but honestly, Sarah Fox is a champion in her own right, and she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maggie Anderson, and she proceeded to beat Maggie Anderson to get this shot here. And honestly, everyone thought Maggie was going to fucking win. She didn't. That's it, too. I mean, shit. Other people we can't overlook as another former champion. Okay, former champions getting in this bitch. Ava Moreno. Ava Moreno, former PXT Women's Champion. Longest reigning PXT Women's Champion. I mean, holy shit. I understand where everyone's coming from by picking Ava. Thing is, though, I still think we're overlooking uh, not just uh, the, my pick, Cornell, but a lot of people's picks. Wait, what's the admin score? Just got back. So the admin score right now is Cyclone at two, Shane at one, Rocky at two, Death at two, Smooth Marino at one. Uh, he's lost everyone besides the first one. This is our fourth match of the night. So almost, almost. If Ava loses, then uh, a lot of people lose. <laughs> Right now, Catherine Jackson coming in. Catherine, honestly, Catherine has a shot of winning this too. I'm surprised no one chose Catherine because Catherine is pretty, pretty agile. And because of uh, the weight loss, the epic weight loss, um, again, we got into like medical stuff with her for that. Apparently, she's just on a big ass diet. She's still eating healthy. It's just a big ass diet. So we let it slide. She should be all good for this. I was just very concerned because it was a big like hmm. we did the same thing with Justin when he went huh, fucking bulk as shit and Jacks are going to be in a pod along with the two women that have held gold before And it looks like Kalia Dorsey coming in. Kalia picking up a win. I actually don't remember against two. I believe it was against V. Her and V were tearing down the house a little bit. And holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Kalia just proved she wanted it way more. So with that said, Kalia is going to be coming in and possibly picking up the first ever PXC Women's Championship.
Holly will be in the fourth woman in the pod, which means, if I'm correct, the match will be starting off with Danielle and Cornell. Cornell, bestie of Alexia Jimenez, came back from a vacay with her bestie because she heard a new women's championship was coming out, and now she is determined to pick that title up, but not just because to being a champion with her bestie, but because in her family, her uncle, former world champion in WWE, former Triple Crown champion here in PXC, well, hell, former Triple Crown champion in WWE as well. I mean, shit. She can fucking start her career right here. The only disadvantage she has, though, is that she's number two. It looks like none other, the other woman that is number one in this is possibly going to be the biggest challenge of Cornell's life. Cornell has gone against big, big names. But here's the thing. Danielle Moreno. Let's be honest here. This woman. Holy fucking shit. Is fucking exceptional in the ring. And not just that. She actually has a little bit more success in multi-man matches. Or correction, multi women matches so with that said i mean shit she's a she's a favorite to win this match but according to reports that we got she might not be a hundred percent in her mindset due to some family drama happening at home so that could probably hurt her chances of becoming champion or or it could push her to rise above but well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start off the Women's Annihilation Match. And yes, I did not take time to actually do the thing. Oh. Ooh, big reversal right there from Danielle. Oh. I was going to talk about, but now coming up. Oh, big fucking springboard dropkick. God damn. Cornell coming in with a hell of force there. And Danielle coming in with an arm bar. Or are you looking to drop Cornell from the match? Not gonna have it, Cornell already punching a way out. Honestly, I would be scared of every competitor going against Cornell because they really need to look after her strikes. Her strikes are, is what's most dangerous about her. Reason I say that is because of how she dropped Julia Justice to earn the spot for this match and already going in with a headlock. No, there is no rope break, so headlocks like that are valid. Oh, and proceeds to toss Cornell over the top rope and the third woman in this match already coming in. Question is, who is it? And it looks like it's none other than Kalia Dorsey coming in. Kalia Dorsey already coming in and looking to already drop Danielle. Oh, Cornell catching Kalia lightly. Not enough to take her out. And now Kalia making Cornell pay a little bit here. And Danielle's just talking shit. Danielle's talking shit. I believe the women division are against Cornell, mainly because she sort of helped Alexia win the women's championship. And now, oh now, Danielle coming in strong. Big kicks and a big spinning knee. Oh, Dorsey. It looked like Dorsey was about to team up with Cornell for a moment, but betray, betrayal already happening. <laughs> God damn! Big round the world neck breaker from Kalia Dorsey. Danielle catching her and now coming in with knee shot straight to the gut. Oh God. Danielle coming in strong, but now the next one is everyone's pick. Ava Moreno. Oh! Cornell was trying to go straight for Ava, but Ava. <laughs> Not even fucking giving her the respect that Cornell deserves. But Danielle already realizes that she is a big name. She's a big one that needs to get out. And I do not blame her. Ava fucking squashing Danielle's mother to qualify for this match. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, blazing knee from Cornell to Dorsey. One, two, three. 
Dorsey kicks out. Another pin. One, two. Oh, I was going to say it, dude. I was going to say Ava got eliminated. Holy shit. That would have been huge for Danielle. Danielle looking to get some payback for her mother. Right now, another woman coming in. Who is next? It looks like it's none other than the former women's world champion, Sarah Fox. Oh, big knee shot. Sarah, though, realizing that Cornell might be a... Oh, game changer here and comes straight after her. Danielle going straight after her. Ava. One, two. Oh, Ava kicks out. Ava already kicking out and Cornell already trying to come back at it. Not getting anything of the sort. Kalia actually holding her own against Cornell. And oh, Fox catching Kalia. Fox decided who to go for. Ooh. Oh, all the women are just fighting on the outside right now. It is sort of Danielle just wanted to take out Ava. Danielle wants to make a statement here that she will be the inaugural women's intercontinental champion. But now Catherine Jackson's in and Slade's love right there. Here it is. One. No. Oh, what the fuck? Danielle kicks out at one. And now, oh, Ava coming in. With the SLT. And Danielle getting out of it and dropping Ava. Danielle's going to need to do a lot more to drop her out of there. And now Fox turning the attention to Catherine. Cornell turning attention to Dorsey. We already have three minor rivalries already happening in here. Oh, Catherine catching Jackson. Oh, sorry, catching Fox. One, two, doesn't get it. Now comes over the gut shots. And Catherine already taking advantage of Sarah Fox. Sarah, though, not going to have it. Daniel trying to take out Dorsey. And now, oh, oh. Okay, I don't know what happened there with Cornell. Oh, Fox looking to take out Jackson. One. No, Jackson kicks out. All women are in. Jackson was the last one to enter this match. Who will be the inaugural PXC Intercontinental Women's Champion? Uh oh. Uh oh, I think Danielle's going to go for oh, a double underhook pile driver. Dropping Dorsey. Is that it? Oh, they're going for the pin. The rest say screw it. One, two. No, Dorsey kicks out. Moreno already going for that submission twice. Trying to get a little bit of payback. And Jackson now going for a pin on Fox. One, two. Fox still in it. Oh, big maneuver there. What's Ava going to do here? Ava needs to try to take out Cornell. I think that's what she's focusing on. She wants to take out Cornell. Cornell embarrassed her at Bond. Can't she get a little bit of payback? Oh, now coming in with a crossface. Scully and Dorsey looking to take Jackson out of the match. Is Jackson out of this? Is Jackson out of this? No. Jackson out of the crossface. Oh, now Ava looking to pin Cornell. Looking to get a little bit of payback. No, Carnell kicks out. Oh, there's a pin, another pinfall. I can't see with who. I couldn't see with who, who it was, sadly. Oh, oh, another sl standing. Slade's love to Carnell. Carnell might be out. One, two, no. What the fuck? Dude, Carnell's still kicking. What the hell? Dude, Moreno's just putting everything into it. One, two. Oh. What the fuck? Wait, Jackson just stopped it. Oh, Moreno's... Uh, oh, we got former ch women's champions fighting off. Ava saying, fuck it. She has business with Cornell. She's going to drop her. Cornell, though. Not going to allow it. Oh, big disaster kick. Oh, 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 oh. They're now coming in with a... Blaze D! Two... Moreno in a submission on the outside. Oh, Moreno kicks out of the blaze knee. But not just that. Car 
Dorsey getting out of submission hole from Danielle. Barnell, they are taking up the easy prey. Oh, but Jackson trying to fight off two. Oh, the spin dragon kick. Dorsey looking to pin Danielle. One, two, no, doesn't get it. Oh, Moreno looking to drop Fox. Looking to put Fox out of commission here. Oh. God damn, I've been Olex Danielle apparently. Big tornado DDT. Catherine now attacking. Now going for Moreno. Gets her in the turnbuckle. Ooh, big kick there. And now. Ah, oh, god damn it. Again, son of a bitch, dude. This thing's pissing me off. Before, I didn't need to, like, interact with the controller. As long as it was plugged in, it was fine. Now I gotta interact with it, so I don't know what the fuck they did. They're dropping Dorsey down. Uh oh I think Carnell was trying to go for another. Blazney gets stopped into the... Animation, and now, oh, tries to go for it again! But on plays they to Kelly and Dorsey! When is that enough to drop? Dorsey out one! Two! Then Dorsey is the first woman eliminated! Danielle! Is she the second? One! Two! No! Danielle kicks out! Oh, what's Carnell thinking to do? Two. Oh, now looking to attack the back spine of Katherine Jackson! Oh, Catherine coming back at it, though, with a running knee lift to the corner. Oh, Catherine, think that's another drop, Carnell. One, two. Oh, no, Carnell's still going. Oh, big maneuver right there. Moreno thinking that she's a drop. Catherine Jackson. Big maneuver there. Oh, misses. Oh, big maneuver right there from Jackson. Gave the upper hand, dropping Cornell. Danielle still thinking of payback for another big suplex. Man, I don't know what they're trying to do. Oh, okay. Move over there. Fox, though, thinking smart. Look at the drop. Oh, Cornell from this. Can Fox drop Cornell? No. Fox turning your attention away from Cornell for a moment. Danielle just brutalizing Ava Moreno. Oh. Oh, Catherine, though. Looking to take out her piece on Danielle. Ooh. Big knee shot there. He tosses the ropes. Cornell looking to take on former women's world champion Sarah Fox. Oh. What the fuck? That was in the back of the skull. That was a spinning dragon kick, but was it enough to drop Moreno out? Well, still going, and now she's calling her shot. She wants Cornell up. And now, oh, big crossbody, dropping Cornell. Proceeds to drop her, and now Danielle looking to possibly put out of commission the former women's world champion with a double underhook pile driver. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Fox still in it. Catherine looking to take out Ava. <gasps> Ava's out! Which means a lot of women are out of the debate right now. Oh! Yeah, big maneuver there. Oh! Big blaze kick! Blaze kick! One! Two! Three, Catherine's out! Another pin, another pin! One, two, no! Oh my god, one and two are still in this match! One and two are still in this match! Sarah Fox, the other former women's champion, still in here! Oh my god! Danielle is in the final three. So is Cornell. These women started off the match and they are still 
Taking out names. Oh, big rolling neck breaker. Is he about to drop the former women's world champion? One, two, three. Fox is out. Oh, Cornell taking advantage. Oh my God, this is between death and me now. <laughs> oh, big one over there. Can Danielle capitalize? Can she capitalize on that? Oh, misses. Oh, a big running knee lift. Can Carnell can do it? Can she? This is one and two, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. This is one and two in this match. This is one and two in this match. <laughs> Cornell Danielle started it off, and they are still in it. They eliminated the other four women. Holy shit! Both women have never held gold in their careers. Who can do it? Who can be the inaugural PXC Women's Intercontinental Champion? Gonna be Danielle. Is she going for it? One, two. And Danielle is the new PXC Intercontinental Women's Champion! And ladies and gentlemen, that puts death in the lead for the MP Championship! Now, no, we are gonna do a little bit more with the championship in case people are gonna be like, oh, it's so bland. We're gonna do more with it. Alright, now. Danielle is the inaugural PXC Intercontinental Women's Champion. Holy shit. That was actually nuts. That was actually pretty dope. When Cornell got there, dude, I was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That, that Annihilation match was a lot better. Shit, maybe we should have left it random in the beginning. Because <laughs> then I would be less pissed. All right, but holy shit, that was, that was by far. What was that said, ladies and gentlemen? We now have... Can I say a grudge match? I really don't know what I should... But point of the matter is, uh, this match happened because Carlos sort of got screwed a couple of weeks ago on PXC uh, due to a cheap moveset. We will no longer discuss that person this night. But uh, after that happened, Carlos flipped the lid, attacked the ref, and then proceeded to attack someone random in the back, and it's none other than Mox. He proceeded to really assault Mox to where Mox was in a bloody mess. Now, Mox did have a rebuttal, finally, because he did want to match against uh, Carlos, but Mox had some fighting words of his own. Um, but uh, apparently, uh, we had caught Mox at a burger shop. He didn't know he was still talking about this shit. But point of the matter is, Carlos, uh, he did pretty much, well, not Carlos, Mox did give Carlos credit saying uh, he fucked him up, but if it was face-to-face, -face, Carlos would not be the one standing tall over him. It would be completely different. Uh, there's a difference between Mox and Carlos. Carlos dropped the devil that was barely rising, wasn't even fully, like, completely fucking terrifying or big-name player. Mox, on the other hand, has dropped big names left and right. And not just that, he even took out Electro when he was the PXT champion. So Mox has a credible career to where Carlos is still starting up. And that is what Mox's whole forte is. But not just that, Mox wanted no whole bar, so that's what it is. So tonight it is none other than Mox and Carlos Hernandez, or correction, Mox against Carlos's demon number nine in a no-holds-barred match here at Annihilation. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of people are going for Mox on this because Mox is accustomed to these matches. His whole fucking career has been defined on him being in hardcore matches and being the man standing tall. Now, with that said, he is not undefeated in these matches, ladies and gentlemen. He's not. Being lost in these matches are fun. They actually are. <laughs> but with that said, though, with what I just said just a second ago, Mox has lost these type of matches in the past. There's a shot that tonight can be the same. That is why I am putting some small faith in thinking that Mox might lose 
other words, so in the, my pick was Carlos because Carlos shocked the world before. He could possibly do it here again. But now the question is, can he? Mock challenge, demon number nine. Now the question is, can, will he get demon number nine? Well, it looks like he is. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are now looking at what was formerly known the last outlaw, but is, I guess, a newfound demon number nine. From what I've been told, the scarf he has on his arm there is from is one of Devil's uh, head strings. He wears it as a war victory, I guess you could say, a trophy of people he's put down. Now with that said though, can he put down PXC's hardcore icon? That's the question. Mox, PXC hardcore icon, Carlos Hernandez, demon number nine, or the last outlaw if you will. All right, Mox already coming in a little bit strong here. Now, the thing is, the difference with this between these two is that Mox had nothing to do with that whole shit. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hernandez blew the fuck up. But not just that. He, he was starting to blame it on Mox being in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's where Mox was like, no, nah, he ain't taking that shit. <laughs> So Mox is now looking to teach Hernandez a bit of a lesson in a oh old old bard match. That's right, which means weapons are legal. Everything goes. And from what we see with Mox in past, Mox prefers these types of matches. He loves punishing his opponents. Mox loves doing as much punishment to his opponents as possible. Oh, they kick straight to the face. Now the question is, when is Mox going to utilize some of the weapons? Or I guess the better question is, who's going to utilize the weapons first? And it looks like it is going to be none other than the hardcore the icon of PXT. Mox coming in first. Oh. Carlos, though, stopping him from using the Kendo, getting an advantage, and now comes in with a pump handle. Oh, body slam onto the outside. Anyone's asking what that is on the outside? Oh, uh, that's gravel. <laughs> what the fuck is that gravel? Don't ask questions. All right, well, now. Oh, shit. Big maneuver right there. Is that enough to put down? Mox, no. Mox kicks out at one. Hernandez coming in strong into this match, but Mox, though, not going to allow it. I don't know what the hell that small little blink shit was. Oh, shit. Big form from Mox. I guess it hurt bad because now. Grabbing it there. Now comes with a big fucking crossbody straight to Carlos Hernandez. But Carlos kicks out on the pin attempt at two. I believe at two. At one, I don't know. <laughs> I loaded his character. Oh. oh. Are we doing that? <laughs> oh. Box. Oh, I think Box was trying to go for something, but Hernandez stopping it. Ooh. Hernandez gained the upper hand. Now going for the pin on Mox. Looking to drop him. No. Mox kicks out. Mox not stopping at all. Oh, big code breaker from Hernandez. Oh, Mox getting out. I think Mox saying screw it. 
And again, I'm bro I want to point something out here. Mox is trying to get weapons. Hernandez is actually stopping Mox from it. Which is interesting. It's a no hold board match. You think Demon Number 9 would want to utilize weapons, but so far he wants the match just to be a match. Where Mox want to utilize everything. I want to go in PXC. All right, we'll see. Uh, I'll get them situated when I can. If anything, they could probably debut on the next episode of PXC, which will be next week. Oh, shit. Oh! Big maneuver there. Now, the question is, is no Mox is, I guess, going to keep it clean, surprisingly, in an old, old board. Oh, this is the first time we've seen Mox just saying, screw it. And now Mox looking... Oh, was probably looking to put down Hernandez, Hernandez though. Getting out of harm's way. Oh, sending him. Oh! Oh, do you know what I do that? Oh! Rebound clothesline from Mox to Hernandez! One! Two! Three! Oh shit! Uh, I won't lie to y'all. I'm actually shocked that dropped the demon number nine. Mox has put down Carlos Hernandez. It looks like Carlos is pissed. Carlos, well now I'm proceeding to attack the ref, just choking the shit out of him. What the fuck? Hey yo, hey, get, get, get some fucking security out here. What the fuck's going on with this shit? Oh wait, they're off on break? Never mind. That sounds about right. <laughs> Dating the point. So with that, let's go into the admin points right now. Right now, Cyclone is at two. <laughs> Shane is at two. Rocky is at three. Rocky has the Rocky's uh, closest contender to this title. Death right now is sitting at a whopping four. Smooth is at two. Uh, now I know this is where Smooth's uh, well, Smooth has two other shots of it, but at the same time, 50-50 on it because <laughs> uh, Smooth didn't choose three matches, so that might hurt his shot here. But uh, there is still a chance that if uh, nobody pick wins there's a shot that smooth could kill the whole thing that or it's a draw and we just make it the mp tag titles for a month but with that said uh we're going on to our next match which is the pxt tag team championships but now with that said too we are issuing out a new rule about the championships and their rematch clause the rematch clause can be used but only at the next big show so in other words if they lose it tonight that jeffries could use a rematch clause but but it will not happen till fire war and that is going forward with every championship going forward so if there is a rematch clause that is up for grabs it can only be invoked at the next big show. In other words, that is the match we will be promoting that whole month. So, we're going through with that because uh, we are a little oh, like over the whole idea of titles being pot potatoed like crazy. So, that's what we feel like is the best course of action with it. But we're going to go through with that. So, if the Jeffries lose here tonight, if they do decide to use their rematch clause, those clauses will not go in effect until Bio War. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on to our next match, which again is the PXT Tag Team Championships between the Syndicate and the Jeffries. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know what to say here because uh, I, I don't know who could win this. <laughs> uh, I was very like, um, like one-sided or not even one-sided i was uh, dumbfounded on who to choose for today 
with this tag team match. I just play the safer bet and picking the Syndicate only because Mason is going to kill me. And I mean that. He is going to fucking... Oh, that's it. Let's go on to the Tag Team Championship match, ladies and gentlemen. Satoshi, Makoto, and The Kid. The two that won their first title opportunity for the tag titles. But Satoshi was not involved when they won the actual championships. Satoshi, though, tonight was ordered by the syndicates, the war general of PXT, if you will, Mason to reclaim those tag titles or else so right now there's a lot of pressure on the kid on Satoshi and also, I'm not gonna lie I believe on the next one because the next match after that is another syndicate member going into war and Adonis and Adonis did say none of the Brotherhood members will intervene in the match he never said anything about the tag team titles though so it looks like the Jeffries have a little bit of a little bit of backup here tonight we just realized that Biowar, Hellfire and Frostfire are only are only normal big shows when I say normal I mean no gimmicks That's a lie. Because BioWars main championship will be an hour long Iron Man match. There's a reason it's called BioWar, damn it. So there's like one gimmick, but it's not every match. Introduce first the challengers. They run this ship. No syndicate. They're their opponents. They are the Dashing Dragons, if you will. The Jeffries! Oh, man. I butchered it. Because I forgot there was animations. It's been a while since we had a title match. <laughs> it actually has been. Well, because Abyss isn't a normal one either. This is a normal one. Let's say. Because secondly, Hellfire isn't a normal one either. Hellfire is a uh, false count anywhere. Oh, the kid already trying to go in with a big fucking super kick, but CJ stopping it almost immediately. CJ tossing the kid to the ropes, going over the top. Oh, was trying to go for something big. The kid, though, stopping it. Ooh. DJ now. Getting the upper hand, not allowing the kid to capitalize from it. I'm surprised CJ's not going to take him to Drew to gain like a little bit of tag team offense on the kid. I think CJ wants to make this personal, wants to finally be done with the syndicate. Because secondly, this would be the syndicate's last shot at the tag titles for, for now at least. That's big move and oh a big running a running jumping clothesline. Oh god, big suit god damn! Then the kid is taunting Drew Jeffrey with his own form of a super kick. And now 
The kid tags in Satoshi. Satoshi and oh, Drew did go to war one on one a while ago. While back to where Satoshi did fail to gain the win on Drew Jeffrey. But I think Satoshi was also worried about the Brotherhood, which right now the Brotherhood are at ringside for the Jeffreys. And none other, and it's none other than Jake Lawler as well. That's at ringside. Satoshi's former syndicate associate. Lawler wanted out. Satoshi said, there's only one way out. So if you want out, you take this way. And he proceeded to almost injure Lawler to end his career. Hellfire was my first big show where I competed. I lost, sure, but that doesn't mean anything since nostalgia is enough for me. Honestly? It's nuts that this is our year-ending uh, big show. Uh, I do find that nuts. And I'm very glad to say that this is the year-ending big show. Um, and it's also cool that the champions sort of get like a month off, so they get to like ride high into becoming champions as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, big maneuver from Satoshi looking to make CJ tap. Oh. Was trying to make CJ tap. Drew, though, I think was a little concerned for CJ there. Went in to try to help him out. That might cost them. <laughs> Due to the new tag team rule, to where it's a tag penalty for when somebody comes in, to where they are barred from cutting back in the ring. And now the kid taking advantage of it takes out Drew. And now, oh, the Brotherhood already talking shit to the kid. And now CJ looking to capitalize from the distraction goes over and catches him with a beautiful bridge suplex one. Lawler, I believe, was talking all the shit there. Oh, oh, whoa! CJ, I think being reckless as hell takes out both Drew and the kid. Oh. Drew, <laughs> Drew be, just giving a bit of love tap there. That was, that was a love tap. Oh, oh no, a double barrel. Six. And now a count of six, but the kid realizing he's more time proceeds to go in and break up the count immediately. The kid, I think, asking Satoshi what to do. CJ playing possum and gave the upper hand. Got it for. I think the kid was trying to get CJ back in. CJ possibly looking to win this by champion's advantage. Oh! And a count seven. Kid tossing CJ back in. And the kid's now back in. Oh! Oh, I believe we were going to see Cosmic Knee shot. Didn't get it though. CJ getting out of it. Getting out of danger, can CJ capitalize on the reversal? No, a jumping catch, DDT! And the kid going straight for the pin, Lawler in the way, one, two, CJ, oh. Oh, that was, that was a lash dish effort kick out from CJ. Oh, beautiful! Discus, was that a discus? I don't know. The kid trying to, I guess trying to think where he was for a moment. The kid, though, going back at it, now fighting back. His hardest coming in with big shots straight to the face of CJ. Toss him to the ropes. Goes under. Goes over. What's the kid gonna go for here? The kid stopping the momentum that CJ was catching with the ropes. CJ now. With a big sit out power bomb. And oh, Satoshi saving a button now is penalized from getting back in the ring. DJ's talking shit and now proceeds to get the kid outside the ring and now attacks Satoshi and drops him. Right now the syndicate have no advantage in this match. CJ's up. DJ thinking for the long-term effects of the match, but needs to attack Satoshi Makoto. 
Oh, he was hoping for the kid to get caught into the bear. Or oh, the still steps there. Did not get caught there. We are now at a count of three. Count of four, CJ. Honestly, I think CJ is playing a little bit more unhinged, if you will. We're at a count of six. I believe we're probably going to see a ring out count victory here. Count of seven. Count of eight. Count of nine. Is Drew going to say screw it? <laughs> well, that, that was it. There's nothing they can do. And the Brotherhood coming in. Out giving all the odds to the Syndicate. Or correct you, give me all the odds to the Jeffries. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what's this? He just got to... It took a godly law! I'll go with a super kick to Drew! Wait, what the fuck's going on? And it looks like the Brotherhood is staring at the tag team gold. What? What is going... Okay. And the syndicate are also looking confused as hell. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm so fucking confused. I mean, the Jeffries retain, but now get brutally assaulted by the Brotherhood. So I guess now the Brotherhood are looking for the tag gold. Cool. <laughs> I'm so fucking lost. Whatever. But either way, ladies and gentlemen. With that said, let's go on to our next match. This match was... Oh, actually, hold on. Wait, let me actually update the books on that one. Because the Jeffries were chained. So with that said, um, that is Rocky gaining a point, which is tying Death. Because Death went for the Syndicate, so Death doesn't get a point for that. I don't get a point either. Smooth gets a point. So Smooth is now the third man in it. And same thing with Shane. So Shane is also third man. So right now, this is between Rocky and death that is what this is between right now but now it's on to our next match between two big giants it is a bill cassidy going against zion in other words uh the syndicate are going to be much there <laughs> so uh I, I i don't know what was that eden spear oh well apparently eden was waiting for the syndicate going back in gorilla and proceeded for a double spear on Satoshi and the kid, dropping them both. God damn, god damn. Double spear, double spear? Double spear, damn. Oh, fuck me. All right, well, it looks like Cassidy's the only one standing then. Uh, but it uh, looks like it's going to just be Cassidy against Zion. One-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Now, no, a lot of the admins had decided to choose Cassidy on this one because we haven't seen Zion. We haven't seen him fight. We don't know what he can do. Sorry, I was eating Cheetos with that one. But with Cassidy, we've seen everything the man can do. Cassidy is on a whole nother level when it comes to competing and being in fights. He's a reason they're the big muscle of the syndicate. And he's a reason. I feel like next year we have to rearrange the big shows though. Never. With that said though. We haven't seen anything of Zion, so but who knows? A lot of people could lose this one. Zion went to Adonis and 
demanded this match against Bill Cassidy. Now, I am getting some small reports in right now that Zion apparently was a former mixed martial artist. Not for UFC, but is a former mixed martial artist as well. That, that's that's all that's all we got. <laughs> Is that he was dating? He, they said, wait, what? He killed a man? Almost. Okay, so Zion apparently uh, has almost killed a man in the actual octagon. Here we have a bit more limits. <laughs> so there's a high chance that he cannot do that. Let's see what Zion can do here. I mean, hell, he thinks he's confident enough to take on Cassidy. Watch this, can he? Clean shaped guy. All right, there it is. And oh, coming in strong. Okay, goddamn. Zion a little towered over by Cassidy. Oh, God damn, both men pretty strong. Oh! Cassidy catching with a big clothesline. Zion though catching it with his own. Oh, oh, both men just staring at each other there. Both men just staring at each other there. Zion, oh my God. Zion coming in with strikes. Oh, but gets caught a big boot from Cassidy. Ragnar stomping on him, but Zion not holding anything back either. Oh God, big uppercut! Oh, oh, the big smack straight across the chest of Cassidy. Oh shit, was that what? Was that the jumping? What the fuck? One, two. Oh my God! I just saw a giant fucking fly in the air to hit another giant scrim in the face with his goddamn foot. What the fuck, Zion standing tall? Holy shit! We might have made mistakes. We might have made mistakes. Zion, Zion sending in the ropes, and now, oh, there it is, Cassidy now coming in. Uh oh. Cassidy lifting up Zion. Oh! There it is, now Zion getting tossed hard. Ooh, big show of strength from... Oh, Cassidy tossing Zion across the way. Holy shit, though. That's how fast he was able to get that? What the fuck, dude? And now a big power slam from Cassidy dropping Zion. Oh, Cassidy was trying to go for something big. Doesn't get it. Oh, same thing with Zion. Zion was also trying to go for something huge. Doesn't get it. Oh, but now gets caught a big suplex, dropping Zion hard. Yes, I know what I said. And Zion now having to roll out of the ring. Probably not used to rolling out. Oh, there it is. There's the strikes of Zion once again. Cassidy, though. Oh, dropping him. God damn. His first onto the apron, Zion now, now sending Cassidy all into the steel barricade, and Zion getting back into the ring. Cassidy looks out, dude, holy shit. Zion right now, with heavy strikes, has been surprising everybody, but hell, even with that jumping super, ca oh, god damn, Cassidy looking for big damage, and he's coming up with big power bombs. Oh, shit. Oh, big elbow drop. Three. Cassidy now tossing Zion all across the way. Cassidy coming back into the ring. Possibly thinking the damage is done. Oh, oh no, Cassidy. Cassidy. Cassidy going up top. It comes in. Oh, my God. Oh, Zion was trying to get the upper hand. Cassidy, though, recovering a lot faster into a big power bomb. 
Right now, Cassidy is succeeding on the outside, inside the ring. He was struggling against Zion. I think Cassidy is realizing that. That's why he's sort of going in and out. Five. Got a five, Cassidy just way on the outside. Zion though, coming back in. Cassidy, oh, another, oh my God! Quick succession! One, two! Cassidy kicks out, oh my God! Zion just looking. Oh! The Zion Slammer! One, two! Cassidy still kicks out! Oh, is he going for it again? Another Zion Slam! Oh my god! One, two, three, and Zion puts Cassidy down and nobody gets a point! Oh my god! I'm stunned. <laughs> Zion. Or right, what's this? Oh god. Then now the okay, well now the multi-man shit's coming in and because now the rest of the brotherhood are coming in and attacking Cassidy. Oh. The tossing him back in. Cassidy's up days and another jumping super kick straight to the fucking skull of Cassidy! The Brotherhood, <laughs> right now, is standing tall. Holy shit. That means right now, for what it's looking like, Mason has no backup. But I think Adonis, Adonis has played with his food before, so I believe he is 100% truthful on his word that it is a one-on-one -on -one and only going to be a one-on-one -on -one with this. So... With that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, goddamn, the syndicate laid to rest. Can Mason defend the U.S. championship here tonight? Holy fuck. Because right now, he has no backup. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, holy goddamn, that was fucking... I know I should have picked Zion. I was like, he's a big fucker. I think he can do it. But at the same time, I was like, ah, he's a big fucker. He might die. <laughs> Holy shit. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is now on to our final Annihilation match of the night. It is for the Hardcore Championship. Now, if the same thing happens on this one that happened on the other one to where somehow uh, Shane retains due to the pod situation that happened with the dog, um, Shane will defend it in a triple threat hardcore match. Uh, reason being is because that's not fair to the people that won the Battle Royale. And it's not fair to the viewers to where we already uh, promoted that uh, these people are going to be the last ones and that's what's going to happen. So in this case, uh, well, I guess in this case, it would have to be smooth and super, actually. Oh, no, because super still got his last spot. So really, it's whoever the hell uh, they steal the pot from. Yeah, that's right. Because technically, we weren't falsifying that part. So if Onyx comes out last... He will not. He will not get a one-on-one -on -one shot against Shane for the Hardcore Championship. But if Shane retains because he stole someone else's spot, then Shane will defend it in a triple threat. It's it's only fair. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall. It is for the PXT Hardcore Championship. I'm gonna have to do the like ring announcing like this right here. Yeah, go away, no, actually, shit, oh, it might be. No, yeah, it's still fucked. <laughs> Introducing first. We checked him out to see if he was actually caught with steroids or not. Surprisingly, he's fucking clean. He just loves staying at the gym. It's none other than the legendary high flyer, Justin! Justin! 
I should have done this with the TikTok one. I didn't think about it. I was too busy trying to figure out how to fix the thing. Justin coming in. Honestly, Justin has made hell of fucking improvement to his arsenal and to his game to where he is surprisingly not anyone's pick to win but i think that's a mistake on us because uh holy shit i generally think that he probably has a shot to win this but i went based off the whole last spot but because the game's probably screwing it i don't know if we're gonna get that I guess we'll have to wait and see. If Shane doesn't come out last in any way, shape, or form, then that's what happened. Oh, well, there you go. Speak of the devil. All right, well, then, yeah, Shane, you're going to defend it in a threat match on whosoever spot you stole. Andrew Doozy, next. He is the PXT Hardcore Champion, Mr. Womp Womp himself, Shane Henry. So instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people. Who Damn, well, well now I'm more upset because son of a bitch, it didn't fucking like stay with what we said was gonna happen. Because originally it's supposed to be Shane and Jack Flo starting off the match. But for some reason, the order gets all fucked up. I don't know why. Wait, real quick, where's the new attire? The new attire comes with the new sig. Ha, ah, joke's on you, because you've been on a winning streak, you don't get a new sig. Reason being is because we are actually implementing that rule hardcore now. If you gone through a big loss streak, that is the only time we're allowing actual differences in moves. Uh, if you're, there's no problem with the move set. You've been having a good win streak. Putting off, it is not subjugated for change, which means we will not go forward with change. Order why even with uh, Hernandez we didn't do that as well because uh, we think frequent changes are. A bit unfair, especially for characters that are winning a lot. Up next, he is the street fighting Samoan, none other than Johnny Tagaloa! But the old Sig is a finisher, that's a problem. That's eh, fine. If anything, well, I, it works in this regard. <laughs> because of who's in here. Donnie Tagaloa familiar with the cage? Honestly, more likely he's feeling at home right now. Oh, Johnny, I the champion. Johnny was eyeing the champion there for a moment. I'm not gonna answer stuff that deals with stuff that's supposed to be private, so I'm just gonna watch. With that said, now into the ring, none other than the Johnny Cage look-alike wannabe asshole himself. I'm joking. A uh, Jack Flo. Jack Flo got cheated of his one-on-one -on -one shot against his brother for the Hardcore Championship because he was attacked by Rocky Mercado at Bond. So tonight, he won, well, not even tonight, but this past month, won the opportunity to be in this first ever Annihilation match. But not just that. Well, he, well, he just, what, how, what? <laughs> he has balls of steel, ladies and gentlemen. He has balls of steel. <laughs> Andrew Ducey next. If he's not number six, he's getting a title shot. The big, thick, baddie of PXT, Onyx. 
Gotta give him the true Johnny Cage treatment. The flow across the chest and the... <laughs> that would've been funny. <laughs> This is the only time I'll do it through the like actual entrances because uh, he doesn't give us a moment for everybody to like show off. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it through the entrances. This will be the one time I do it. Because my throat would be fucked if I do it all the goddamn time for everybody. Oh wait, so yeah, Onyx got screwed. Wait, so that means Shade stole Onyx's spot. Yeah, Onyx got screwed. Okay, so then Onyx gets a guaranteed... Uh, if he doesn't win the title here, he gets a guaranteed title shot. Because he's not in a pod. He is not in a pod. And so does Franchise, because he is also not in a pod. <laughs> so I, I get... It's going to be a fatal four-way. If Shane retains... If Shane does not retain and it is a new champion, Onyx will get a guaranteed one-on-one. -on -one. But if Shane retains, fit a four-way, bitch. <laughs> I was about to, now go. <laughs> Does anyone just have balls of steel? Like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I was just going over the top rope. I didn't even do franchises. I just was just, I was just like, what? <laughs> All right, here it is, Onyx franchise. Honestly, not a bad way to start it off. Already coming in with a fucking lift knee, dropping Onyx. Franchise and Onyx already have a little bit of fucking beef with each other. Mainly because they started off the new year. Onyx, I believe, picked up the win against Franchise. I could be wrong on that. Um, but, hell, I mean, shit. Oh, they've already been going back to back. Because, hell, even in the Battle Royale, it was Franchise and Onyx, the last two men. Like, already... Their rivalry is being implemented at this point. Oh, there it is. Onyx, though, not going to have it. Onyx. Onyx already learning a little bit of franchise's arsenal, already recognizing himself with the man himself. The question is can Onyx put down franchise? Ooh. Big elbow shot. But already getting the next man in it. Again, if if somehow, some way, Shane Henry is number six, stealing the spot, I swear to fucking God. It looks like Johnny Tagaloa is next in line. Now, if I'm correct, I believe Johnny was actually number three, so his is fine. Ooh. Arthur having another fucking uh, last-minute... <laughs> fucking creative control before he lo got choked out and now is a medical facility <laughs> against Jamar after his match with Jamari because Jamari full on choked the living shit out of Arthur to where Arthur was shaking we think he literally had cardiac arrest live here tonight ladies and gentlemen so we, we are going to have to see where Arthur stands uh I guess next Monday, because I, I I don't know what's going to happen with him. Oh, and already Johnny was starting to come off the bat, not getting it though. Not getting off the bat itself. And now the next man in the Annihilation match is none other than Justin. Justin, next in line. Franchise has heard little about Justin being the high, legendary high flyer. And wants to see what he's made of. Johnny already dropping Onyx. Oh, Justin not allowing o Franchise to get the upper hand. Onyx, oh, coming in strong, coming in fast. Justin tossing over. Oh, I think was trying to go for the suicide of Powell Driver. Doesn't get it. And now Justin looking to get a pin off Franchise. Oh, a dirty pin. It's actually legal. Dirty pins are legal. <laughs> oh, and Franchise. Oh. Coming in a little, a little hard on Justin right there. Did not like the fact Justin was trying to come in? Oh! The fra I don't know if that's considered the franchise or franchisee. The point is, it was not enough to stop Johnny. Next in is none other than Shane Henry. Oh, Justin. Oh! Uh, Justin has uh, his hole! Justin's hole! <laughs> oh, oh, Justin already coming in! Strong on the PXC Hardcore Champion!
Arthur's hand already tainting the annihilation match. Oh! Comes in with a code breaker, not enough. Johnny was looking to take out Onyx. Onyx, not gonna lie, really got screwed in this because Onyx was really supposed to be number six in this match and he now had to start it. So, in other words, the Annihilation match is a little tainted at this point. So right now, the champions had to are now gonna be punished next week on the next episode of PXT. Oh, it looks like Shane looking to make Onyx. Oh, sleep here. Doesn't get it. Johnny. Oh, dropping. Justin with a senton to the spine. And now a big moonsault. Going in for the pin. One. Doesn't get it. Oh, Shane looking to dish out some effort. Uh, dish out some punishment to Jack Flo. Big maneuver from Johnny. As I said, Johnny is very... Very used to cages. He's very used to it. He knows how to fall. Oh, oh shit. God damn. Does it with a fucking one foot drop kick. And then proceeds with another drop kick. And now looking to send. Franchise flying. Justin thinking that's about to drop. Franchise. No, Franchise still fighting. I think the he calls the knee FTW, knee standing, fuck the world knee. Gotcha. Calling the franchisee because I know he has the franchiser. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Shane. Being disrespectful as hell. Oh, Shane. Coming in. Oh, that. Go. Let's go over the credit call. Franchise not having it. Well, why? There's a bit of backstage being between Franchise and Shane. And already he's showing here tonight. Shane catches it with a tornado. DDT is that at the drop. Franchise. Franchise, the first man eliminated in this match, which means Rocky is not going to win this one. Johnny, oh, Onyx still in it, surprisingly. I don't think I should count this if Shane wins. I just want to point that out here. <laughs> Reason being is because technically it's not what's valid. Oh, the suicidal pile driver! Onyx dropping flow, and now... I mean, with a, oh, big suplex right there! And now Onyx looking to take down flow! Flow still in it, though. Oh, Justin, realizing that there could be a new champion in involved in this. Oh, Johnny, now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Justin! Johnny, one of the few men thinking that Justin should have retired long ago and should not be here in PXT. Onyx looking to take down Jack Flo. One, two. No, Flo still fighting. What the fuck? <laughs> Shane was like, <laughs> it's funny. It's because I'm the champ and he's handicapping me. Uh, it's actually no. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're the champ. Point of the matter is you stole someone's spot. <laughs> Ooh! Oh god damn! Johnny fucking up everybody there! Gets Flo! Goes with a pin! Flo still kicking! Oh Justin! Oh Falcon Arrow! Looking to drop the hardcore champion! One! Two! No! Shane's still in it! Got the MP champ! Me! Shane! Oh! I mean... The thing is though, it's not like what we actually said was going to happen because originally it was supposed to start off with Shane and Jack, but both of them were in. Things, oh, I believe it's Juice Mode Spike. One. Oh, wow. The ref taking too long for the True Samoan Spike for Johnny Tagaloa, honestly, probably saving Shane there. No, no, oh, brutal spine buster. Oh, Johnny, realizing that he needs to take out Shane Henry. Sends to the ropes, and oh, gets him with a huge spear! Is that at the drop, Shane Henry? One, two, no, Shane still kicks out.
All right, and now gets tossed over Shane, looking to possibly take out Johnny, and Johnny's now out. Shane eyeing Jack Flo here. Ooh, drops Onyx. Bro, I think was already okay with it. I think there's a small alliance between Flo and Shane. Just realize that means the wrestlers are getting sand in their hair in these matches. Yes, they are. Oh my god! Oh! Flatline from Onyx to Flo! One, two, three, and Flo is finally out of this match. I believe the only person's picks that are in right now is... <laughs> I think it's just mine and Shane's. Because no one went for Johnny and no one went for Justin. Alright, oh. Right now they're all on the side. You can't really see what's happening. Starting off the suicide of Powell Driver. Onyx, on a correction, Tugaloa. In the upper hand, Justin tossing Shane back into the ring. I don't know what Justin's going for. Uh oh, uh oh, Justin looking to go for it. Oh, Canadian Destroyer on the outside. Is that it to drop Shane? One, two. Three, Shane Henry's out, which means Shane will not have to defend it. And now we are guaranteed a new hardcore champion. And honestly, somehow, if Onyx wins this, this shit would be nuts. Oh! Big suplex there, Johnny. Johnny probably looking for the gold. Johnny thinking he needs it. Oh, big leg sweep from Onyx. Onyx is the only is my pick and he's the only one standing. <laughs> it would be crazy if Onyx gets eliminated and it's just Justin and fucking Tugaloa. Because no one shows him. No one shows Justin and no one shows Johnny. Big one over there, Johnny. Looking to get Justin up. Gets him with a snake eyes into the corner. And now goes with a pin. One. Two. Onyx was just eyeing them, man. Onyx was just eyeing them. It's fucking nuts. Oh, big one over there. Oh, Justin! Coming in with a Falcon Arrow! Dropping Onyx as Onyx out. One! Two! No, Onyx still kicking, still going. Surprisingly. Oh, Johnny now looking to take on Justin. Looking to take him on. Justin, though, not going to allow Johnny to come back at it. Justin has missed goal and he wants it now. Comes in with a shotgun drop kick. Oh, I think, was Onyx trying to go low? Oh, Onyx and Johnny dropping Justin with a double DDT. And now Onyx looking to claim the upper hand here. Gets Tugaloa to the corner. Oh, big power slam. The swinging flat line. One, two. No, Tugaloa kicks out. Oh my god! A swinging flat line. Holy shit! Not enough to drop Johnny Tugaloa. Justin, though, not out of it either. Justin. Now looking for another Falcon Arrow! Johnny not done! Oh, Dustin! Say screw, go over the pin! And John, Johnny, I think that was a reflex! Oh, big kick! Can Justin drop Onyx? Can Justin drop Onyx? Or will Justin... Or will Justin fucking... Choke right here! Can I get a point? <laughs> only, only have two. Can I get a point, please? <laughs> Can Justin drop Onyx here tonight? Can Justin do it? Onyx stopping him. Stopping Justin from probably going in for that shotgun drop kick. Gets him with a big forearm into the corner. 
Oh my god, can Onyx actually do it? Can Onyx put down? No fucking way if Onyx does this shit. And now comes in with a oh beautiful elbow dive! Is that another drop, Justin? One! Two! No! Justin refusing to give up! Oh my god! Onyx getting Justin again into the turnbuckle. And now another big power slam. Is he gonna go for the swinging flatline once again? I think he's gonna go for it again. Gonna try going for another swing flatline. Is that it? One, two, no! Justin kicks. Oh, Onyx is pissed. Onyx is pissed. Oh, Onyx trying to go for the no. Was trying to go for the suicide of Paul Driver. Doesn't get it, Justin. Now coming in with an abdominal stretch. We're gonna make Onyx tap out here. Are we going to see Onyx tap? No! Onyx refusing! Onyx refusing. Oh my god, dude. This is nuts. Onyx, Justin. Oh, big jumping one-legged drop kick. Justin with a big punch. Justin's fired up. Justin thinks he gets this. Oh, I think Justin, again, trying to set up for that drop kick into the corner. No, honestly, I think he needs to just go for it. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought we were going to see the suicide of Pile Driver. Doesn't get it. And now, Onyx. See you attack, but now comes in for the knee crusher. Looking to make Justin tap out here. Are we going to see Justin tap out? Is Justin going to tap out here? Are we going to... No, Justin gets... Is resilient as ever. Onyx getting tired, getting frustrated. Wants to be the first man ever to hold both TikTok and Hardcore Championships here in PXT. Justin, though, refusing to let that happen. Justin's brother, Devil, has already held a championship. Justin has yet to hold a gold here. He has yet to hold it. Oh, still doesn't get it. Both men not allowing the other to get the upper hand. Big monkey flip. Dropping Onyx. Justin needs to say, fuck it, he needs to go to the top. He needs to go to the top. It is Frog Splash. Is that it? Is that it? One, two, three. Winner and new PXT Hardcore Champion. I am going to lose my throat. I need, I need to calm the hell down. I'm going to lose my fucking throat. Holy shit, nobody... Nobody gets a point for this. Which means right now it is tied between, between Rocky and Death at the moment. And the fucking deciding factor is actually the next match. <laughs> Unless the match after that ends it in a draw. Justin, the new hardcore champion, and ending it with the fucking frog splash, which so far no one's been able to reverse. It's fucking crazy. Congratulations to Justin. He is the new hardcore champion and will be defending it clean since it did not result in Shane's uh, rec reclaiming the championship. Um, but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time. For the past couple of months, uh, there has been a war that's been going on. It has been between the Brotherhood and the Syndicate. One side's won a war, the other side's won a war. So far tonight, the Brotherhood are standing tall. The question is, can their leader, Adonis, bring it home? Or will he be dismantled by the PXT World Heavyweight Champion, but also the PXT United States? Mason Dixon. Adonis already has Three matches, three wars he is going to be going against with Mason. The first one is tonight. The second one is at Hellfire. The third is whenever the hell he wants it to be. So with that said, uh, let's go into the actual uh, MP champion match picks. Because right now, I'm already out of the ringer. I'm out. I, I, there's no shot of me coming back from this. Even the next two matches. If anything, I could tie it, but I would still lose. Um... So yeah, I, I would still lose regardless. Um, so right now, 
I'm out. Shane uh, has a shot. Well, no, Shane. Yeah, Shane would lose if a certain someone. If his pick wins, he would still lose. Um. Now, with that said, uh, if Rocky's pick on this one wins, Rocky win. But then again, it because it, the thing is, this match and then the next one, Death and Rocky chose differently. So if Rocky gets both of these, like matches correct, he's the MP champion. If Death gets both these matches correct, he's the MP champion. So right now, it's there's a shot for a draw. There's legit a shot for a fucking draw right now, which is fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, because regardless of what you do, or regardless of what happens, Shane, technically, uh, they will. Yeah, because technically, uh, on this one, Death shows same one as you. The next one, Rocky shows same as you. So regardless, yeah, you you, it's a never-ending comeback. If anything, it would be. Let's see. So if okay, so let's see. It would be a three-way tie, actually. <laughs> it would be a three-way tie if uh, if somehow it happens. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the United States Championship. Between the leader of the Brotherhood, the liberator of PXT, he's been calling himself Adonis, going against the War General, the man that is trying to save PXT, Mason Dixon. The first war these men will be going into against each other. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall, and it is for the PXT United States Championship! So I won't lie to y'all, ladies and gentlemen, Mason is actually pretty pissed off tonight, again. Not just because of what happened with the Syndicate, not because of what happened with Cassidy, but he's pissed off because, again, for the second night in a row, he is not main eventing the big show. That's right, the main event match is actually next, and he is second running for it, and Mason is absolutely pissed about it. So that's where he says if he needs to make a damn example out of Adonis, he will make a goddamn example out of Adonis. But why he needs to be main eventing this goddamn show. His baby, his show, he's calling. But so far, I mean, hell, though it might be a show, he hasn't been claiming control of it because the Brotherhood have been running wild. They got control of it last, this past Monday. But tonight, uh-uh, the Syndicate has fallen. And it is, that's what's for, ladies and gentlemen, the PXC United States Championship. Now that said, can Mason successfully defend it? This is the first time these two will be fighting off with uh, nobody at ringside, by the way. So, we're going to see how this goes. The Liberator of PXC, which apparently uh, has already shown that his faction is already looking for the tag team gold because earlier tonight during the tag team match between the Jeffries and the Syndicate, the Syndicate said fuck the tag titles and backed off, if you will. Don't get me wrong, the Jeffries fucked them up regardless. But because of that, Lawler and Abco proceeded to attack the Jeffries and holding up the tag team gold. So apparently the Brotherhood is already looking to claim hold of PXT. But not just that, the Syndicate, uh, Satoshi, and the Kid brutally got attacked by Eden with a double spear, by the way. And then not just that, Cassidy was also completely uh, taken out of commission by Zion in a brutal fashion. But then not just that either, not just that, also got full-on decimated by the remaining members of the Brotherhood. So right now, Cassidy is technically all alone in this. Adonis' Brotherhood is standing tall. But Adonis has said that this match is going to be a one-on-one -on because -one he wants it to be clear. If he beats Mason here tonight, that there are no damn excuses.
Introducing the challenger, he is the self-proclaimed liberator of PXC, Adonis! And his opponent, he is not only the PXC World Heavyweight Champion and the PXC United States Champion, he is the War General, our savior of PXT, he is... Mason Dixon! Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is what it's for. It is for the PXC United States Championship. Check Discord after the match on a promo thingy. Okay. <laughs> it is Mason. Going one on one against Adonis. Adonis has so far not lost a match here. Mason, though, has also been a little undefeated as well. Mason coming in strong. Already getting already getting the upper hand on Adonis. Oh, but Adonis going! Mason over the top! That's what I was talking about earlier. Adonis likes playing with his food when it comes to matches like this. He did it with Slade, and now he's trying to do it with Dixon. But Dixon, you gotta be careful with that! Oh shit! Powerbomb into the metal barricade, but doesn't affect Adonis at all. Adonis now sending Mason to the side there. This is it, and now. Oh, Adonis not holding anything back. Oh. Quick snap suplex from Mason to Adonis. This match has been brewing. Both men trying to get the upper hand on each other. And oh, big one foot drop kick. Six. Already a count of six. Oh, Adonis trying to bring Mason back in. Mason, though, fighting off. Seven. Count of seven. Adonis, though, also not allowing... Mason to get the upper hand. A uh, count of eight. Adonis coming in. Oh, Mason coming in strong. Oh, tripping up Adonis and gets him with a big close, or correction, suplex. Mason already gained the upper hand here. Now comes in with a big clothesline. This is what I was talking about earlier, to where Adonis likes playing with his food and it could cost him this match. Because here's the thing, Mason is 100% serious about the win. He's serious about this entire thing. A big neckbreaker right there. And Adonis has to roll out. Uh oh. Adonis always oh, getting up. But now, oh, attacks the back of the leg of Dixon. And oh, shit. Well, I'm going to skull first onto the fucking mat. Gets Mason up and drops him. Over the apron! Adonis coming back in. And Adonis running wild. Oh, Mason was trying to do something, doesn't get it. Mason setting into the ropes, goes under, goes over. And now a boom! Beautiful power slam comes in for the pin. Mason on Adonis. One! No, Adonis kicks out. Oh. The big exploder suplex from Mason. Adonis holding his own, but now a big headbutt. Proceeding to get Adonis in check. Adonis, though, not holding it back. Oh, no, now drags the arm down, dropping Mason, and comes in with a beautiful fucking standing shooting star. Sends him over. Oh. Oh. I don't even I don't know what happened there, but it didn't happen. Donis and he makes it to the ropes, goes over. Goes under. And now, oh, Kanzon! Oh, shit! Kanzon! One, two, no! Mason kicks out, holy shit! Oh, Adonis was trying to go for something big, doesn't get it, though. Mason now gained the upper hand. Uh oh. Coming in with almost a deadly power bomb, dropping Adonis, and now Adonis has to roll out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Mason going for a no hole, high risk, laying Adonis down. Uh oh, trying to work on the arm of Adonis. Adonis though, not going to take it. Now attacking the ribs of Mason. 
Guns makes it to the steel barricades. Oh, correction. The steel steps. And proceeds to do it once again. They're going to punish Mason Dixon as much as possible. But now Mason sending Adonis down the fucking ringside. And now proceeds to wear and tear on Adonis. Mason not holding anything back. Way to count of six. Mason throwing Adonis to the steel barricade. Count of seven. Mason's in. Adonis taking his sweet time and now comes in with a big punch. Oh, Adonis though, not gonna take it. Oh, Adonis. Oh, it's coming in with a fisherman hook suplex, but no, Mason's coming in with a roll up. Oh, Adonis comes in with his own one, two. Oh, gets out of it. Oh, Adonis sending Mason to the roll to another can. Stop dropping, Mason. It's not in one, two. No, Mason kicks out. Two key end zones, and Mason Dixon has kicked out. Adonis now looking. To, oh, he's looking to put down Mason. Mason, though, no, I'm not going to have it. Ooh. Dixon. Mason trying to get Adonis up. Ooh. Oh, coming in with shots straight to the chest and gut of Adonis. And now Adonis. Getting out to the apron. And now, oh, big shoulder tackle, dropping Adonis to the outside. Another goal, oh, big outside dive. Adonis, I think, was still trying to fucking see, or trying to regulate where the hell he was at. And now, oh, heroes, sacrifice. On the outside, dropping Adonis. Adonis. Laid out in the middle of the ring. Mason circling his prey. Taunting away. Wasting time in my opinion. He needs to capitalize on this. There's one thing I learned from Adonis. You don't give him a moment. Oh, beautiful ripcord knee from Adonis to Mason. Oh, Mason now. Getting punished from Adonis. Oh. Oh, no, a standing shooting star. Is that it? One, two, no. Adonis, I think now starting to be a little frustrated here. Oh, Mason reversing it. Oh, misses. I believe a shoulder tackle. I don't know. Sends him there. Oh, wait. Beautiful reversal. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was. Johnson down for a big punch straight to the skull of Adonis. One, two. Adonis kicks out, though. Mason sending him to the corner. Oh, big punch. And I think Mason is sending him out of here. Mason has dropped Adonis. One, two. Three, and Mason is still the PXC United States Champion! Oh, wait. Oh, from the barricades. It's the Brotherhood. Mason's eyeing them down. Wait, the, okay, the lights went out. What the fuck? Well, I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait, what the... Oh, okay, lights are up. Apparently, Doc... What the fuck? All four members are down of the Brotherhood. And Mason standing tall, unharmed. What the fuck just happened? Mason 
Mason's even confused, but he's walking out. Still the United States champion. What the fuck? I I have no idea what just happened. Uh, so, uh, with that said, um, let's see. So, actually, that's a point for me, too. Yay. So, Rocky right now is the leader. But here's the thing. This next match actually decides um, the whole thing. Because if Death's Pick wins, if Death's Pick wins, uh, it's a draw. <laughs> it, it is a draw. Which means they will both be, technically I will change it to the MP Tag Team Champ because they both got it off. So uh, we could have our first duo um, MP Champions. I have lost both my titles, admins and original. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are not done. It is now time for the two that have been thrown out here to headline Excuse me, sorry, out of air. Um, but the two that uh, won the Bond match to headline tonight, it is the team of C. Jill and Adrian Cave. Now, no, the winner of this match gets a title shot of their choosing. It could be for the tag teams. It could be for the hardcore. It could be for the TikTok. It could be for the YouTube. It could be for any title. But now, the thing is, if it's for the way that we've labeled them, if it's for the tag team, both men will get the tag team up. If it's for the hardcore, the other person will go for the TikTok. If it's for the PXC World Tag Championship, the other person will go for. That's how we're sort of like organizing it. Um, I don't know who's going to go for what. But um, this is a big one. It is C. Jill against Adrian Cave. I honestly do not know who's going to win this. I decided to go for Cave because I think Cave has a shot. But eh. now I do want to point out if C. Jill wins, Rocky wins the whole thing. So everything's on the line here because Rocky's in the lead right now. It just depends what happens here. You know what's funny too? Death was like randomly fucking like choosing to. <laughs> No, check the promo channel members. Because it's a big show, I'm not going to care about promos that will be read probably on the next episode of PXT. Because it doesn't really make sense to a promo for anxiety filling up every space, no privacy. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure. Moving closer. No exposure. I just want to be a loner. Some can't stay sober looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't want to feel the White stuck. Viper of the Russia He was, I and I believe still is The longest reigning YouTube champion Held the title for close to six months Yeah, six months Because he was crowned a year ago today as the first ever YouTube champion put prestige on that fucking title and now he has an opportunity to go for any championship he wants he is the first ever two time YouTube champion he is the longest reigning YouTube champion I mean the safe bet would say it like he would choose that championship but what would his father want him to go for? Would his father want him to continue being a YouTube champion? Would he want him to be the world champion? It sucks when you finally feel like giving up. Oh God, no luck. Everything feels like you're sticky stuck. I'm lost, handcuffed to the bed where I sleep. Don't give a fuck. Can't stop. Unplug. Feeling overwhelmed. I think I've had enough. Uh, gotta find a way to get some energy. Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me. I need purpose to make it all worth it. I'm still searching and I'm still learning. I want a life that's filled with memories, not a life with a grand in front of me. Honestly, I I'm gonna be honest with this. everyone so here. I hundred percent. Do not know. The lighting for the entrance works well with the stage. Yeah. 
again a big shout out goes out to death for today's or for annihilations and uh arena it is the best work he's ever done because uh hell you're having a lot of issues with it even with last minute changes we had to put to it it is phenomenal so death big shout out to you um heck, if rocky somehow wins Right up, be Jill. Now we're having to face the new up and comer, the fastest rising star so far of EXT, Adrian Cave. I, I minorly helped. <laughs> I minorly helped. Adrian Cave and C. Jill. Honestly, if they ever decide to team up later in the future to possibly go. Goddamn, that one fan going crazy. Holy shit. What is wrong with these fans? Do they want to. What, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Point of the matter is, God damn it. these fans are out of pocket. <laughs> Adrian Cave, though. A surprise tag team partner for C. Jill, but even then has came out being, holy shit, possibly one of most people to like really work well with C. Jill, but not just that, to earn the respect of CGO. Adrian Cave has not even been here long enough to like be up for any other type of goal, but he has a big title shot right now. The crazy thing is though, that short time he has earned the respect of not just C Jill, but hell his uncles, because he is in a big title match right now. If he wins, he gets a title of his choosing. If he loses, he still gets a championship shot, no matter the case. C. Jill, the White Viper of Russia. Adrian Cave, the wrestling's first blind man. Going out of here tonight. Oh, and C. Jill already using his cured power to gain the upper hand. C. Jill has been nothing more than a goddamn menace here in PXT. And oh shit, big fucking suplex from Cave. Dropping C. Jill, honestly, that is something you gotta do with C. Jill. You gotta make sure to drop him hard with big moves to take the air out of him. If C. Jill doesn't have a lot of air in his arsenal, there's more likely not gonna be an arsenal for him to use. PXT is working with WWE. <laughs> Oh shit, big suplex again from a cave to C. Jill. This is what I'm talking about though. This is what I'm talking about. Cave knows how to be explosive. Oh, but that's so C. Jill. C. Jill missing the high lift knee, his patented high lift flea, which he, oh, uses well enough to gain the advantage in matches, but now uses his weight against Cave. Oh, big boo, catching Cave off guard. Oh, big forearm there now. See, Jill has been in main events. It doesn't phase him anymore. He was a new up and comer. He knows where Cave's mindset is at. But then not just that. See, Jill has known that he was built for greatness. And that is why it has never phased him. Cave, though, on the other hand, sympathizes with him. But then not just that, respects him as a competitor. Because he's able to step toe to toe. What a reversal by C. Jill. No shit, dude. Oh. That's now attacking the legs of Cave. And now C. Jill again. I think teaching Cave a lesson right now is that he needs to go all in. If he's not going to go all in, he's not going to have a chance to beat him. 
That's what this match is. It is a lesson. Oh, big disaster kick. Dropping cave. DJ knows that if that to not go easy on cave. Oh, wait, oh, the Viper Lock. The Viper Lock on cave. Looking to put the man to sleep, but no, cave gets out of it. That's how quick he can get into it. But Cave knew how to get out of it. He's been watching C. Jill. He knows what he needs to do to drop him. Oh. Cave now struggling to keep up with C. Jill. C. Jill, honestly, this is not surprising because we've seen C. Jill in matches for the longest time. And now looking to put Cave out of commission with Father Sins. One. Two, no, Cave kicks out. And CJ is shocked right now. Oh, big heel kick. And now looking to drop Cave. Cave though, oh, Cave, not gonna allow, not gonna allow him to gain the upper hand. Day in there, goes under, goes over. And now, oh. Ooh, shit! Gadget with the momentum and showing that he can deadlift C. Jill with no problem. Picks him up. C. Jill though, going over and attacks the back of the knee of Adrian Cave. C. Jill thinking that's enough to drop Cave. Honestly, it might be. One, two. Yep. Cave had already took too much damage. Honestly, I just... The rest is a little slow there. Yeah. C. Jill, honestly, full on dominating this match. And then not just that, that is the win for Rocky. Which means Rocky is the new MP champion. And C. Jill gets a title shot of his choosing. And wait, what the fuck? Mason just coming out and now attacking C. Jill. Well, it looks like Mason already knows that C. Jill's probably going to go after him for his title. Mason looking to get C. Jill into a hero spirit. Wait, what? Cave saving C. Jill pushes him out of the way, takes the hit. And that's C. Jill with a big heel kick dropping. Mason, Mason retreating. What in the fuck did we just see? Mason, god damn it. Adrian Cave just saved C. Jill. Oh, my hero spearhead. And now I think C. Jill knows who he's going to fight. Holy shit. Next week. Because C. uh debuted on this month the 28th so in other words pxd's birthday is in two weeks. so in two weeks will be the season two of px and uh i don't know i'm <laughs> i'm flabber i'm Flabbergasted, I'm surprised, and um, I'm amazed that PXT has, God, has grown, gone as far as it has. Because every time I keep thinking about it, it I, I, I'm more amazed by it. Because I never expected PXT to be what it is today. And um, I don't know if you guys can even hear me, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I get cut off every now and then with this. So I'm trying to get close to the mic on this. So I'm going to be right here. But point is... um. I, I never picture PXC to grow as much as it has. Uh, I'm grateful on how much it has grown. Don't get me wrong, there's some stuff we still gotta work into, like the tag teams, because honestly, the tag team division for the past year has been pretty small. Um, but with that said, we've been trying to grow it as much as possible. It's been growing here and there, but we need like a little bit more. So that's one thing we gotta work on, but. That's the one thing that's fun about PXT. It's always something to work on. It's always getting my head to do something, and it's always fun. But 
even with that said, I need an outlet so that I can actually uh, continue having fun with it to where it's not just like, oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my God, kill me. With right now, that's what Destiny's doing for me because uh, Destiny's also launching a new, ex not expansion, but a new season tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try looking into that, maybe even try playing some games with some of the guys because uh, I'm going to be working full time now, so I, I got I to gotta do what I can when I can because <laughs> I'm not going to let work kill me. But um, but that said though, guys, uh, this has been PXC's Annihilation. This has been a little cyclone update with me too with the channel. Um, that is it for PXT. We'll see you guys on next week's episode of PXT to where maybe, maybe we get some type of answers on the whole thing with Mason. Because that, that was one that really shocked me. Because us four guys that went. I guess we'll wait and see. That's it. Uh, peace out. Take care. Y'all guys have a great night. And we'll see you guys next week for PXT 38. I said I got this, none of this radio pop shit I dropped this, turning back the clock to rock shit I cop it, said knock knock, I'm on this I'm hot bitch, like a hot bitch, it's time I'm fucking, I got this, radio